Hello everybody, my name is Captain Curb and welcome back to another Yoshi Engine tutorial. Today we have your most requested tutorial coming from to you guys and that is an introduction to events as well as a look into your most requested event which is the character switching which is what I tweeted about the other day. And so that's very exciting and I am incredibly excited to show you guys. But of course, before we begin, uh, I do very highly recommend for the people that just want the basics on how to use events to go check out Stargazer's video on it. He's got a pretty, pretty in-depth look at it, and it's it's really it's really solid for baseline. If you're looking at just knowing, uh, seeing code and replicating it, I'm going to be going into the actual detail of how to create a character switching event, as well as many others in future tutorials. So. Don't forget to vote for, for tutorials in the uh, comments below. I will be responding to all your comments. Any problems, for sure, let me know. And with that, let's get started. So to start off, we're going to go to our entire screen here for a second. We're going to open up our file manager. And this is going to be drug over here. Don't worry about that. Go over to your FNF. Go to whatever uh, mod you're working on. And in this case, it'll be my mod. Go to testing or well whatever mod you're working on sorry and in here you'll find a lot of folders and what we're going to want to do is usually you're going to want to create one uh, called events and in this case I already have my events done and it's quite funny how uh, this actually works because uh, so let's just let's just create uh, any kind of folder let's call this events 2 uh, but obviously you're just going to want to call yours events so in once you're in the folder how uh, events actually works is that it's basically a script that you add to your song that a function that 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 is then called from within the source code so I'll kind of explain how this works basically what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to click new you're gonna to wanna to click text document and then you're gonna to wanna to rename it to whatever you want your event to be so let's go with um, character switch Actually, you know what? I'm just going to call this one event. And the, you'll see why in a second. If we go into it now, oops, I didn't uh, rename it to event.hx. Junior mistake. And now, as we can see, if we go to our coding, you can now see our event.hx. So what we're going to want to do now is we're going to want to type in the following code. Function. And let's call it character switch where we're going to have our variables as being the character, which will be a string. Oh, hold on. A string. We're going to have our x pose, which will be our x position, which will also be a string. And we're going to have our y pose, or y position, which will also be a string. And that's, that's it. Now you have your function. Very nice. So next thing that we're going to want to do to specifically create the character that we're going to want is going to be to click to, to put in uh, whatever one we want next. So in this case, we're going to put play state because this will be, let's do this for the dad character. I, I kind of actually we'll do it for boyfriend uh, we'll, I'll make it interchangeable after and I'll show you guys how to do that so what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to go to playstate.remove or we're gonna want to type playstate.remove and then type in playstate dot boyfriend uh, dot boy friend and that's it and just uh, semicolon that out and if you don't want to delete your boyfriend then you can obviously change that next what we're going to want to do is click uh, type my bad playstate dot boyfriend dot destroy basically meaning that it's just going to destroy him and we'll semicolon that Next thing that we're going to want to type is playstate dot boyfriend boyfriends and I can't type boyfriends is equal to a 
new, uh, sorry, this is in square brackets, a new boyfriend, which is a class, which is going to be an STD with the capitalized S dot parse float of an X pose, which is just going to be our X pose, comma, std dot parse float our y pose, which is just our y pose. And basically what this does is it converts our positions to floats, which was very nice. And then the last thing is our character, which obviously we have right here. So, very nice. Add a semicolon to the end of that. Next, type in playstate dot dot add playstate dot boyfriend. Whoops, playstate dot boyfriend. And semicolon that. And finally, type in playstate dot icon p1 dot change character character and then in brackets character which is our character for formula and then mod and as you will see that works quite nicely and all that you have to do uh, now is just save And that is how you make a boyfriend changing script, basically. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pop over back to Yoshi Engine. And once we get here, we're going to go to free play. And the funny thing is you don't have to use song config at all. We're going to go to the normal dad battle because I was testing on the hard one. And turn up the volume a bit. Oh, there is no normal dad battle uh, chart. Hold on. Give me a second. I'm going to fix that. Uh, or not. We'll just go to hard. So once we get in to uh, hard. Or not. <laughs> uh, technical difficulties. Don't worry about it. Uh, so let's see. Testing. Data. Let's go to my entire screen. This is once again just bug fixing. Gotta love it. Uh, that battle does appear to have a normal chart. So what we're going to do is we're actually just going to restart Yoshi Engine, which is perfectly fine. It happens all the time. You kind of got to get used to it. Uh, this one, YoshiCrafter.Engine.exe. Oh, and yep, looks good. And there we go. Now we're now we're hearing sound. We're getting the the whole thing. Go over back to Yoshi Engine. Perfect. And this as well. Sorry about the little bit of a mess. When it comes to coding, uh, you never know what's really going to happen. Uh, apparently, this thing does not want to play the sound that is actually playing in the game. Hold on a second. I have executable. Okay. Ha! Huh, I guess you guys are just going to have to listen to this without sound. Um, so apologies for that, but we'll go back on to normal and we'll test this out. There we go. Alright, now it's working. So now what we're going to do is we're going to want to press 7, and I'm just going to mute my sound since you guys can't hear anything. And basically, once you're in here, you're going to want to go to song. You're going to want to go to either edit chart scripts or edit song scripts. This is your song config inside the chart editor. And essentially what you're going, what we're going to want to do in this specific case is go on to song scripts, which as you can see, I was already testing something. So what we can do is we can click add script, go to our folder, which is events two, click on event.hx and click save. Voila, it's in there. Now click X go back over and let's find a spot where we want to put a new character let's say uh, let's say right here right here 
So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to type in our function name, in which case this is character switch. And so let me just confirm to check that. Yep, there it is. And what you're going to want to do now for every single, we'll call it, um, for every single, like, parameter, I guess you could say, the first parameter is always going to be the first one that you list, which will be the character followed by the X pose, followed by the Y pose. And then all you do is just go to the game, click add param, and what we're going to do, because I already know that I have this character in here, is we're just going to add the mom. We're going to add another param, which will be her Y position, which I believe I estimated to be about 1,250. I'm going to say 1,250. And her Y position, which will, of course, be about 250, I think I estimated. And then, once you have all of your parameters in, you just simply want to click Create Event. Boom. As you can see, character switch, mom, uh, 1,250, 250. And that's it. All you do, press Enter to test it out. Wait for, you know, the song to kind of do its thing. I think it'll happen after the first go around. Dun, dun, dun. And I think it's the next one. There it is. And you can now see the mom character there and her icon has changed. And as you can see, we can fiddle around with the position and whatnot. We can also do that. But we're going to go back to coding because we're not quite done here. You can make this even more complex and better and to do that all that you have to do is add in a switch but we'll cover this in the next tutorial so for now don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys another time Bye bye